This week, we're talking about the PerfKit benchmarker, Kubernetes updates, and new table formats for Dataproc. I'm Priyanka Vergadia, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. We've just expanded PerfKit Benchmarker, the open source tool that makes network performance benchmarking faster and easier. PerfKit Benchmarker now supports a broader range of network performance tests and lets you view the results in Google Data Studio. The goal is to help you predict the performance impact of moving workloads to and across different clouds. As Google Kubernetes Engine moved from version 1.12 to 1.15 over the past year, we made several security changes to the platform to improve security behind the scenes. Changes like paring down controls to only what your application actually needs and improving the defaults. And of course, maintaining the GKE hardening guide so that you can always find the best advice for the security of your clusters. And speaking of Kubernetes, it's never a bad time for a Kubernetes best practices guide. This one covers Kubernetes namespaces, readiness probes for health checks, controlled deployment, and more. Because containerized app management is a favorite of ours for deploying and managing production apps at scale. Dataprog is a fully managed service for running Apache Hadoop ecosystem software in the cloud. And we've just added new table formats to support workloads that need asset transactions, data versioning, schema enforcement, and schema evolution. Check out our new guide on these formats and let us know what you think. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. Any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us. We will see you in the cloud.